I am at uh, Tsunami Studio in Nairobi, talking to Chief Nyamoya, hi, and to Hatu Muharto. Yes. Um, what is Tsunami Studio? What do you do? The Tsunami Studio was our idea for escaping our bedroom studios. It was our way of getting creative people in the visual effects, animation, comics space who are underrepresented in all the hubs burgeoning in Nairobi from their individual spaces and get us together to work mm -hmm. and in a directed way on common projects. Mm -hmm. So we still have our own clients, we still have our own things going on, our own houses. Like for example, I'm Kenya Noir. That's the brand uh, which I've been building over the last three years and you can check out uh, our work on social media mm -hmm. and uh, the, the URL. Um, Hato here is from Shout Huge Productions. They've been working exclusively with animation, illustration and um, visual effects. And then the third leg of, of this stool we call the Tsunami Studio is our sound guy who's also a member of a band, Parking Lot Grass, as well as a sound engineer. So together we have all the competencies that are necessary to produce a quality animation. Okay. Yeah. One thing, sorry, one thing I want to add is um, we want to push the level of collaborating. As uh, it's, there's so much more you can do as if you collaborate as a team and you can do it as being an individual. Mm -hmm. So that's the aspect you're trying to bring in here. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's true, because in fact many people say that, right? That in the animation industries and the gaming industries here in Kenya, you have a lot of individuals kind of trying to do everything, whereas pooling talents might be a good idea? Yes. yes. So that's what you're trying to, yeah. trying to achieve, okay. And are there any productions yet that you've come out with or that you're going to come out with under the umbrella of Tsunami? Yes, uh, we've uh, collaborated once on Kufuka. Um, that was last year. It was basically our pilot project. It was a way of us guys working together. It was just a, a fun collective project which we okay. did in October of last and year. And what was it about? Uh, let you talk about that. It was an event. We, we did a concert and we had screens in the background displaying our animations and uh, the music was themed to, to, to the animations that were going on in the background. And we also had dancers. It was just a fun party, uh, a way of exhibiting Art. differently. Mm -hmm. uh, other than just having, oh, this is our animation level, we decided to let people get involved in, in, in the whole partying atmosphere oh. and consume art in the process. Okay, A different cool. exhibition style. Okay, right. And, and what are you working on now? Or is there anything that you're about to launch now? Yes, uh, we're going to be launching uh, Kevo, which is a motion comic. Uh, we'll be launching it at an expo that's, uh, we're going to talk about that to a Kevo film commission. Yeah. Uh, the, it's Kevo, yeah, sorry. It's about Kevo. Uh, this is um, a Lone Ranger kind of type of guy. And uh, the genre is action sci fi. Yeah, and he's going to go about beating bad guys. And uh, we have a lot of talent in it because I'm going to handle the. How do I put it? I'm going to handle the direction. I'm the director, the graphic director. And then we have the scriptwriter, which is going to be chief. And we pull in our talents to make this comic happen. And is this going to be this is going to be a series, right? Yes, it's going to be a series. Okay, so it's going to be. Um, what are you going to do? Distribute it online or? Uh, we're going to distribute it online. Yeah. It's going to be weekly. And so it's going to either be weekly or bi-weekly. Mm -hmm, yes. Mm -hmm. And where is the story set? Is it like just somewhere in a in a kind of fantasy world, or is it? Here in Kenya, or? Uh, we're kind of mixing up. It's going to be. It's very different. It's like it's going to be. Like there are a lot of stories that have originated from Kenya, but no one ever thinks sci-fi, <laughs> uh -huh. you know? So we're kind of like bringing the whole local aspect, but at the same time, it's in the future. Yeah. Yeah. So that's something that can appeal university potentially. Very, very quickly. <laughs> okay. So, uh, but it hasn't been launched yet. And you mentioned that it's going to be launched um, in June at two events, right? Could yes. Talk a bit more? The first event will be the Kenya Film Commission's uh, Film and Broadcasting Expo which will be on the 21st and the 22nd of June. Mm -hmm. And then the next, the very next week, we'll be launching it again at the iTech Expo, which mm -hmm. will be on the 26th and the 27th. Okay. So anybody looking to, to, to see what we are cooking in our kitchen should uh, look out for those events. Okay. And both are in Nairobi, I assume? Both yes. are in Nairobi. Okay, cool. Um, so, and then after you launch that, it's going to be, become available online. So any other people who cannot travel to Nairobi can follow you online, follow the, the, the different mm. episodes. Yes. 